All right, so we were looking at this example uh, last time. So this was, uh, we want to find the horizontal asymptotes of this function. This is a fairly challenging problem. So the first thing we uh, you know, discussed was how do you find the horizontal asymptotes of a general function, right? That always means you know, calculate the limits at infinity, right? Because those will each possibly give you one horizontal asymptote. So we're going to start with um, calculating the limit as x goes to negative infinity, and then after that, we'll do x going to infinity. All right, so last time we actually did start this problem, and someone suggested dividing all the terms by x, which is the highest power of the denominator. I really don't like that strategy because I think in this case, it's a bit difficult um, to figure out the exact algebra steps. And like I discussed last time, there are some cases where dividing by the highest power of the denominator will still give you an undefined expression in the numerator, right? Sometimes you might still get expressions like infinity minus infinity. So I want to use my strategy because I really want you to encourage, I really want to encourage you to use it since it kind of works for all cases. So in this case, what we are going to do is, let me write this on the next line. Instead of uh, divide everything by the highest power of the denominator, we're simply going to factor out um, the highest power of numerator and denominator separately. Now for the denominator, oh, we, we have to do a little bit more work. So for the numerator, I'm going to leave that alone for now. And for the denominator, we actually did have an example like this earlier in the lecture um, where there was a function with a square root in it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to factor out the square root, oh, sorry, factor out the x squared from inside the square root. Right, but we have to be careful because we know that square root of x squared doesn't really give you x. Right. Okay, so right here I'm going to fract up my, my x squared. So I'm left with 1 plus 5 over x squared. And that's inside the square root. Okay. Now I'm going to distribute my square root, right? A square root can distribute to a product. It doesn't distribute to a sum, but it does distribute to a product. And now what can we do with a, uh, square root of x squared? So we discussed this last time. How do we deal with square root of x squared? It's not x. Assume negative x, well, you're getting just one step ahead of us, right? Absolute value of x. And then what Armand said, right, because of the negative infinity, we can assume that x is negative, right? So since x is going to negative infinity, absolute value of x is actually equal to negative x. So putting those two steps together, So if this is actually negative x, there's already a minus sign there. So I really get x plus x times the square root. And now I can cancel out all of these common factors of x, right? Common factor of x on each of these terms. I can only cancel it out because it's on every single term, right? If if one of these was actually missing an x, I would not be able to cancel it out. OK, so now that that is actually canceled out, we should be in a good shape to calculate this limit. OK, so so far all we've done is algebra, but motivated by the calculus, right? Because we did use the fact that x is going to negative infinity. Now that we're done with the algebra, what should we do now? So now we can actually say, you know, x actually can go to negative infinity. This reciprocal here, what do we know about this reciprocal? This has limit zero as x goes to negative infinity. So now we can say once and for all that, the, that this limit is... Put it out. So we end up getting 3 over 2 as the limit here.
So one of the two horizontal asymptotes is uh, three halves. Any questions about that? All right, this is a challenging problem. Now, I was looking over the solution uh, to this last night, and so now we have to do x going to infinity to get the other horizontal asymptote. And I was looking at this, and I believe it might be a little too hard. So we get up to this point right here, and then we have to replace absolute value of x with just x, right? Not negative x. So essentially, this plus sign becomes a minus, right? It's the other sign. And then substituting in x going to uh, plus infinity, we end up again a minus sign here. So we get 3 over 1 minus 1, 3 over 0, which might be a bit confusing, but it means that there's a vertical, uh, not a vertical asymptote, but it means that there's a limit that is infinite, a limit that itself is either plus infinity or minus infinity. So I think in the interest of time and in the interest of um, you know, finishing today's lecture, I'm actually going to write up that solution in case you're curious. The answer ends up being that the limit is negative infinity. Um, so there's only one horizontal asymptote, y equals 3 halves. So I'll finish writing up the solution to this later. You can look at it on your own. I think this problem is just um, you know, well, too well beyond uh, what I would put on an exam. It's just you know, too hard, at least the second part. Already, this first part is pretty challenging. So. I think I'll end the problem there and we'll move on to today's lecture. Any questions about anything?